Hi everyone, if you are looking for some statistics material, revising for your exams or mock exams starting from data collection until the second year normal distribution, you are in the right place. Check it out. In this class, like we are going to be studying about data collection and sampling techniques, right? So the first slide, we are going to go through the problem solving cycle. The problem solving cycle. First, identify the problem, what you want to achieve, planning, how to collect the data and what to do with the data. What to do with the data, right? And the second, information collection. That is what we are going to study here. The second part is the yellow color highlight is the part we are going to study, right? Collecting samples from the parent population census, right? Census mean buzzword, parent population using sampling methods. The second information collection is the one we are going to study. After studying this one, we are going to do drawing diagrams, box plot, histograms, and um, calculating locations and measures to represent the data. And finally, carry out some calculation to interpret the data that is the hypothesis testing. Number two is the one you are studying now, right? Collecting parent population and using the sampling method, that is the second information. In your book, they categorize as a chapter one. As we go, box plot, hypothesis, binomial distribution, everything, the stage two and stage three. So basically in the first slide, there's not much information, give you an overall picture of statistics, right? This is what we are going to study statistics. First, we are going to be studying the populations and samples. Population, what is the one sentence definition for population? The whole set of items that are of interest, right? Even though you are not writing the data of interest, the whole set of items, the whole set of items is called population. And what is a sample? A subset of the population which represent the population. That means that is very important. When you take a sample, that sample need to be representing the entire population. Let me quickly change my color. Right, so the sample should be representing the population. A sample is a subset of the population, a portion of the population, right? For an example, example for the population is all the people in a country. Fair enough or not? All the people in a country said to be the population. All the animals in a zoo, definitely it's a population. Total stock from a supermarket, right? That also population. Don't ever think population means human and animals. No. Population means stock, right? If you go to the corner shop, the shopman asks you to, can you help me to count all the uh, water bottles in, the, in his shop? He's taking stock control. That is population. That is population. Population means the total items that you are interested of, right? So in this slide, there is a hidden question there. What are the question may ask? Define population, define sample or what is the difference between population and sample? What would be the answer? Population is the whole set and sample is the subset. That's it. That's it. Right? So now we are moving on to the next slide. Sampling unit and frame. The two different technical terms is coming here. Sampling unit and frame. If you see my slides, right? Population is the total people standing. I am marking here that is the population, right? Sample, what is sample? I group with the red color box that nine people are called sampling, right? And that the population entire people is called sampling frame. Let me go into the detail. What is sampling frame? Often sampling units of population are individually named or numbered to form a list, we call database in the computer language, which is called the sampling frame. For an example, today for my class, all these people came. 
I write all your name in an alphabetic order and given an index number, right? Starting with Aryan, 001, 002, 003, 004, 0018, all the people I listed with the number, numerical number and the relevant names, that is called the database. That is called in statistics sampling frame. Another hidden question here. They will ask one mark, what is sampling frame? Right? So sampling frame is the all the individual sampling units listed with numerical numbers together with the items. That is called the sampling frame. Right? Now another hidden question. They might ask what is sampling unit? The individual unit of the population are known as the sampling unit. The individual, the one person from the population, it's called sampling unit. In the example previously I discussed, um, the shopman asked you to count the water bottle. The water bottle, only one bot water bottle, it's called sampling unit. Right? Sampling unit and sampling frame. Right? And that is enough uh, time to take notes. Uh, you can uh, refer to my presentation slides from Google Classroom and just take some notes um, if you want, right? I'm just going to be moving on to the next one. Now, population versus samples. This is where the topic gets very interesting and you must know this one. At least one advantage, one disadvantage, right? Don't be proud my memorizing. I know five advantage, five, no, no use. Only one enough, one enough, right? Now, what is this one population versus sample? Data collected from the entire population is known as census. In UK, every 10 years, very shortened form I have written down, entire population is the word examiner is looking for. Census is what? The data is collected from the entire population is known as census, right? Census is carried out every 10 years. Every 10 years, it's an expensive solution, to be honest. Um, it's, you know, ballot cards are like a printed and send it to each and every uh, families in the UK household. And they need to declare how many people, newcomers or any, anybody renting or any lodgers or something, or newborn babies. They need to include that in the ballot chart. They will update, the councils update their um, sampling frame again. And it, it's kind of a measure to um, calculate how many people the population right now second point sample is a selection of observation taken from a subset of the population you don't need to take this second point because you already taken that in the from the previous slide what is sampling sampling is a subset of the population third one sample is used to find out the information about the population as whole very important um, meaning there so what is that one? If you wanted to count the entire population and if you are going to do a statistical prediction, it takes time and cost effective, expensive in order to ask every single of uh, people in the population, right? If you ask question from UK's entire population, impossible, I would say. For that purpose, we are taking a sample from that population and asking the question, for that particular sample and now the sample is representing the population so you are assuming UK's uh, let's say that means you need to find out how many people are eating breakfast as a cereal right you can't go and ask for 60 odd million people you are asking a sample from Liverpool right Liverpool um, one of the main street uh, standing there uh, 50 people coming, you asking every 50 people and just asking what is your f f food in the cereal, cereal bar, um, you know, apple, fruits, they're saying different kind of things. You note it down and majority of this result you are going to be predicting uh, Liverpool that 50 people sample, uh, most of them like cereal bar, right? Then you, the question is, can you represent the UK's entire population eating breakfast bar that is where the decision making right your sample size is maybe small right this time the small sample frame is not good enough to represent the whole population so these are the things you need to analyze now 
We are coming to the census now. Census, I put a kind of a, a clip art to um, help you out. You are counting people, individual people. See, that kind of a representation tells you, wow, I got the idea, you are counting people. Yes, that is called census, right? You are counting all the entire people in UK or in a country uh, or in the sampling frame that is called population and known as a census, right? Advantage, one advantage you need to understand, accurate, accurate result, right? Census is very accurate. And disadvantage, disadvantage is what? expensive yes of course printing the ballot card and time consuming number of council workers counting this one computerized program to do this one all this expensive solution time consuming right so that's what they have the frequency 10 years in uk every 10 years they are counting the population census right but time consuming right now this third one is i loved this one and please write this one this is the the mark carrier for your exam if you write this one you will get full marks right testing process destroy the items testing process destroy the items why let's say mns employed you as a statistician to count uh, the apples uh, ripeness or avocados ripeness um, in your sample right so there are 400 avocados or apples given to you, right? And you taken 10 avocado or apples from the sample and doing the ripeness testing, right? You cut the apple and see whether, oh, it's ripe. Yes, yes, no, yes, no, yes, yes. Imagine if you are doing the testing for the all the 400 apples, you are destroying the entire avocado apples, uh, destroy um, all the samples. So that is not good enough. That is a disadvantage. Write this one, then my order is second and third. This is first, second, third. When I'm typing, I just type in the order I think of. Now after reading, I just think testing process, destroy the items is the first and expensive and time consuming and everything, right? Uh, now the number four is the large data to process. Yes, to be honest with you, this is large data to process. Like you need to use some computerized program sampling right so in the other hand sampling technique the clip part right see the clip part i put right so all the populations are there i put a magnifying glass and select that two people that is my sampling right so advantage is cheaper of course it's cheaper because you are carrying out the testing for a so small portion right and quick less data to process out of this one, only remember one or two. I don't want you to write all three if you can do it, but not necessary, right? Disadvantage. Disadvantage is data may not be accurate. Data may not be accurate. These two points I must write because it's very important, very important, right? Data may not be accurate. Sample size is not large enough to give the correct info. This is why the examiner is looking for, right? They give the 400 avocados or apples and you ask uh, supermarket manager, I only need five apples to test the ripeness, okay? Five sample is not good enough to test the ripeness. You need to increase the sample uh, sampling size. That is the refinement you can do. That is the refinement you can do, increase the sample size. So what is the disadvantage? Sample size is not enough. Now we are moving on to the next slide. Exercise, right? Don't worry about this one. I will answer this question and making sure you make a note of the answer and end of the class, you may be uh, asked to submit this all the tutorial related work uh, to my Google Classroom, right? First question, I'm going to star mark and put an answer for the A part, right? Question number one, a supermarket wants to test a delivery of apples for ripeness by cutting them in half. Suggest a reason why the supermarket should not test all the apples in the delivery, right? So I would write because testing process or testing destroy all 
all the apples. Full stop. B part. The supermarket test a sample of five apples and find that three of them ripe. They estimate 80% of apples in the delivery are ripe. Suggest one way that the supermarket could improve their estimate. Again, right? Supermarket means we are talking about like, a, you know, 1,000, 2,000 apples in their carrots and, you know, lorries and things like that. A big palette of apples to test. The five apples is very small sample. So that is the reason you need to say five apples in a sample are very small. Increase the sample size. That's more than enough, right? So what you need to say, increase the sample size 5 to 10 or 20, that will be give a better results, right? So we have done that one sampling and the population and advantage, disadvantage and one question.